Well, hello and welcome. We got it so cold in this cabin that uh, I had to put my jacket on. My camouflage jacket. What do y'all think? Pretty nice? I could probably go wander the ship and blend in because nobody could see me because I got camouflage on. And uh, we're going to the Bahamas. So I'm probably going to wear it there, maybe? No? Someone said you can't wear camo in certain places. Hmm. Well, you can in the United States. Can I wear it in the Bahamas? We'll be right back. Alright, and welcome back to Party of Two Cruising. I'm Patrick. And I've been reading a little bit on social media, people asking, can I wear camouflage on the ship? Well, yes and no. So, first of all, yes, you can wear camo on the, sh on the ship. Like, if you wear an Under Armour shirt that's camo, they're not going to say anything to you. If you got camouflage sandals like these, nobody's going to say anything probably on the ship. But they're probably not going to let you get off the ship in several places. For example, where it is a illegal and or a fine are places like Antigua or Barbuda, uh, Barbados, the Dominica, Grenada, Jamaica, uh, the Philippines, it's, uh, it's illegal, St. Lucia, uh, Trinidad and Tobago, it's illegal. The Bahamas, any of the islands in the Bahamas, it is illegal. Mexico, it is illegal. Now, some places, it's a fine. Some places, places it's jailable. Uh, some places are tourists can wear it, but locals can't, and it's against the law for the locals. So I saw a post on social media the other day that said, you know, I'm buying sandals, but I'm not wearing anything else camouflage. Can I just wear the sandals and... Uh, People were going, probably should leave that at home. So I looked it up, and uh, believe it or not, yeah, anything with camouflage on it is technically illegal. Now, would they probably look at your feet and do anything? Probably not, but is it really worth the hassle to get fined or maybe even thrown in jail in some of these islands that are really strict on it? Best thing to do is leave your camo at home or at least on the ship. Because I've seen people on the ship wear it. And one time we were getting off in, I believe it was, I want to say it was Tortola. It wasn't even any of the islands I mentioned. And they told me couldn't get off with the uh, camo t-shirt on. So a t-shirt like this, can't get off on it. Can't wear none of these pants, shorts, none of this stuff when you go to the islands. Now there are a couple of places that don't care, but... I wouldn't even take a chance so yes it is true so what you need to do is get rid of the camo because you can't wear it in a lot of the islands alrighty so I just want to let you know because I see it asked a lot actually on uh, social media I don't know why it comes up so much uh, I don't really wear that much camo but some people love their camo and that also covers hunting camo that's like the orange color and all that it's any camouflage whatsoever and a lot of people ask why is it that they don't allow camo in the islands it's not because they don't like camo it's basically reserved for the military and law enforcement um, unlike in the United States United States doesn't care you can pretty much wear camo and everything the only thing that they do is uh, and you military guys would know more than I do about it you're not allowed to have the insignias and stuff like that on your camouflage here making it look like you are actually in the military but you can go to any army surplus store and buy all the uh, camo you want and wear it um, so that's really the reason why they do it again not like they do here in the United States uh, most of our police officers wear regular uniforms whether the midnight blue or the white uh, shirt uniforms uh, and they don't generally wear camo unless they're on SWAT or some of the specialty teams alrighty so hopefully this helps you out keeps you a little bit out of trouble uh, wanna thank you for watching 
We are so close to a thousand subscribers right now. Uh, and uh, do me a favor so you don't miss anything. Hit that notification bell. And uh, the next one coming up is uh, next Thursday, August 18th. We'll be back on the Paradise and then again on to the Carnival Freedom in uh, September. And then again back on the Paradise again in September. So getting plenty of uh, visits on the Paradise, but hey, they're great deals. We can't pass them up. Anyway, thank you again for watching. I'm Patrick, and this is Party of Two Cruising.